Welcome fellow cartoonists. We've got another challenge today. We've got a penguin in space. Yep, that's correct. You're hearing me right. I'm not winding you up. It's a penguin in space. Never seen it before. First time drawing it. So first time you're drawing it. We're going to leave space on that side. Start over here. And we're going to have the start, right, which I start so many of my cartoons with a circle or an O, which is one of the eyes, and next to it, joined up, is another O. So two O shapes. Sometimes I put the ears on for faces, but on this occasion there are no ears on this penguin. I'll do the top of the head now, but it's going to have some eyebrows, so we're going to, because it's like a macaroni penguin they're called, so I'm doing the strangest sort of penguin I can, so in this, instead for now I'm doing the beak, which is a U shape. And it's a slightly pointy U, it's almost a V. Almost a V, but it's just rounded at the bottom. So just take your time and have a go at that. And just to add a bit more detail to the eye, you've got like these little bags under the eyes there. If your beak is longer or shorter, it doesn't matter because it's going to look like the penguin you're, you've created, so don't worry about that. So starting from out here, not too wide, around about there, midway between the beak and the end of that little little bag under the eye there. We're going to do a big old U shape. And that's the main body of the penguin. Go as long or as short or as wide as you like. Again, it's your cartoon so it doesn't really matter. So that's a nice big U shape there. Again, all shapes that we're familiar with. Now for the wing of the penguin, they always sort of stick out a little bit. We're doing, I'll show you how I did that. It's a, a curve going down slightly. Then give it a little bit of width there, work your way down so it's closer at the end and then just round that and that makes a nice little penguin wing. So it's going to be stood on a really small planet because this is an actual planet that is pretty much run by penguins in the solar system so I'm going to do this is the size of the planet okay so a nice curve I'm going to do it in two parts there's the other part it's not completely round I know but it isn't I'm doing it really accurately because they've seen it through a really high powered telescope now this foot okay curves down along and down again okay you've already got the bottom because you've got the planet so you've got the bottom of the feet we're just going to add those little toes my little lazy way of drawing toes just add those little bits on it adds detail that's what separates the two feet so it's got two nice big feet eyes can be as big or as small as you like it's up to you for me there's going to be something over there so it's looking in that direction. Those are just the little nostrils, just two lines near the top of the beak. Now this might be tricky. These are the eyebrows. And this is the type of penguin. It is called a macaroni penguin. So I'm going to start, give myself a little guide by two, doing two little eyebrow type shapes there. And from there I'm going to follow the eye and then curve up. Okay, I'm going to go up over the eye and curve up like that. That's the first part. I'm going to follow that line back. Stop about there. Don't go right back to the eye. Just stop about there. And then we can have another bit of spiky eyebrow. Same there. Come back on yourself. And then we'll have one more shorter one. Just dipping down or dipping up. Whichever way you want it to look. So that's not far off. Just the top of the head now. Just a little end shape at the top. little curve. And that's it, and you can have fun colouring these eyebrows in whatever colour you want to do. Just get creative with it. You can shade them in any, any way you like. Um, to give you something else to shade, here's the tummy of the penguin, and it's going to be a different colour than the main body, and it's just a U shape again. Just a U shape, starting from the corner of its mouth, or the corner of its beak there. Now this is something to make it really unique to your cartoon. Just two lines together like that. 
this is a signpost. It's going to be a rectangle shape. So a long line across the bottom on those two lines, sitting on those two lines. A couple of lines going up. I know I'm doing this quickly, but I'm doing some writing in a minute so you can catch up. Another line across the top and a little square on top of that. And that looks like a signpost ready for your caption. And you've got to think of a name for their planet. What would it be? All I'm writing here, and you don't have to write this, you just carry on making your sign because of, you know, it is a bit tricky. I'll just put welcome to, and I'm going to leave that to you. I'm not even going to suggest anything. That is completely up to you. And let's see if you can come up with the best planet name to go with their space penguin. So up here, what the penguin's looking at, I'm going to show you how to draw a basic sort of rocket shape okay so that's just a slight curve one way a slight curve the other way i just want a really basic spacecraft now before i close that the bottom of that rocket before i do that i'm just doing like a long sort of oval shape or slightly pointed at either end and that's one of the fins of the rocket you can now close the bottom of that rocket and now you see the shape of the fins from the side Okay, so you've got a different perspective with these fins. So just a curve going down. And then starting from the end, so it's quite pointy, you go back up and back to the body of the rocket. And there's your fins from the side. And that's your basic sort of spacecraft. Here, I'm going to make a little door. So two small lines, an oval. And that's like a little hatch. You can make a little doorway there just by doing a, a little black mark. That's all you need. Let's put some windows in there. These are just details for your rocket. You can colour it any, anything you like, make the fins a different colour. Put more markings on it if you like. Just anything, just use your imagination on that. Because you've got something really basic. Now this is my spaceman who's come to visit your planet of the penguins. Okay, so an end shape. Close it off with two lines, and that's your space helmet. Really easy, it's an N shape with two lines underneath. That's the helmet. Two lines coming out for the arms. I actually hacked NASA's website to find out what future space travel suits are like, and this is what they've got planned for the planet Penguin. So these are just mittens on the end, those are the thumbs, and those are the mittens like little C shapes on the end and then you can carry the arm back up a little bit not too far because we've got the body to come yet and that line goes a little bit higher to show that the arms are kind of behind the body you stop really short because we need that essential life-saving space travel belt for when you're outside your spacecraft that's what keeps you alive in space so once you've done those lines together, we're moving down to the legs. A real chunky spacesuit. And there, the feet are just rounded shapes. That looks like a bit like a letter B. That's like a letter C. And then from that foot to that foot, a nice end shape, and that finishes it off. There you've got the legs. And he's floating calmly in space towards the planet of the penguins. This is a backpack. It's travelled for about 50 light years to get to this planet. I hope it was worth the trip. So make sure you shade it in right, make it look good. I'm just colouring that. That's like a, a black face mask because of the glare of those penguins' beaks. And there's a line coming from inside where his friends are inside making sure that all the tech is working correctly for that really high-tech space suit. I'm going to add a few stars here and there. I don't want you worrying about using all your black crayons and felt tips or all the paints you've got to try and colour that background in to make it black. Don't bother, just put some planets, some stars. People who look at your cartoons will get the idea that this is a space scene. So I'm doing two lines here, parallel. This is like the rings around a planet. So if you do these first, okay, then just do an N shape on the top. 
and a U shape underneath. And then all we've got to do is sort of close those lines. That's the inside of the line, the inside of the ring, and that's the outside of the ring, okay? And that disappears behind that planet. So I did that bit quickly, so if you want to pause it to have a better look, just have a little try at that. I'm adding some more pointy stars, a little jet coming out of the rocket, looks like his pals have set off. So he'll catch up when that light line goes tight. A few more little pointy stars, just filling those spaces. It looks better than shading it all in, but you can do if you want. What I'm putting here is some craters on the planet. Big ones, small ones, a little line underneath it to show a bit of shadow. And I'm going, going to show you how to shade these in in a minute. But for now, if you just do circles, that is the side of a crater that's sticking up off the planet. And we only see like a rectangle there and don't rush yourself to try and do this because you can do it later i'm just putting another little penguin poking out of that crater there a really simple one not even got any eyebrows there's the body little arms sticking out maybe a little bit worried what that spacecraft's doing you can make a complete story around this why not write a short story to go with it of how they got there and what the penguins do if they've been visited before. Now to make this penguin look like it might come from another planet, I'm just putting a little pair of antennae on top of its head. You can make them a bit more wiggly if you like. Now I'm going into hyperspeed now, okay? I'm going into hyperspeed to make things quicker. So just to give you an idea of where to shade, Lewis and Lisa You've been doing some great cartoons and sending them in. I'd like to say hello to any new subscribers and people who are thinking of subscribing because they like drawing with us a lot because we're all doing it together. Now the inside of these craters, there's a light shining down from what could be a bright star or planet or sun up there. So I'm shading the inside top part of that crater because the light can't quite get to that bit. So as you shade down, you press on lighter and lighter. And underneath that bottom part of the shadow, that crater, just do a little bit more shading. Again, look where that light's coming from. Shade it darker to start with, and then go lighter and lighter. And mm -hmm. it will look almost like there's holes in your paper. And they will look like craters. But just practice it. It might take a little bit of practice. But just try and do it as much like that as you can can colour this planet whichever colour you like of course look at this it's like a nose I can't stop drawing faces what's wrong with me I hope yours looks better than mine because mine isn't that good but don't worry about all that shading unless you're really determined to colour it all black it might spoil your cartoon don't worry about that but do remember to do the important signing of your cartoon so everyone knows what a masterpiece you've created so I'm just adding more details here, Got another planet there, another bit of shading here for you, okay? That light is shining down onto that, onto that planet, so I'm just shading the bottom part. And it looks like a ball, that highlight that you haven't shaded looks like it's where the light's hitting it. And a little bit of more dark shading underneath your penguin, where its feet are. You're going to put yellow feet, pink feet, what are you going to do? I'm adding some more details to my high-tech spacesuit. Really a lot of, a lot of research gone into this. There's an aerial, an antenna coming up from the, uh, from the backpack. A little detail on the boots, a bit of Velcro strapping. More detail on the high-tech belt. And a bit of shading here and there. Just add as many details as you like, just have a little play with it. There's the nose of the rocket. I had to show some great work coming in from Sophia. Excellent skateboarding pandas. And Olivia, again, great skiing pig. And this is what Sophia and Olivia look like, because I did a cartoon of these a while ago. One's really cheeky, one's a bit of a diva, but I can't remember which one is which. Anyway, you lot, join the club, let's get cartooning. And I look forward to seeing you. Have a brilliant weekend and stay safe, everybody.